don't have to tell you it is hot outside. In fact, most of us break a sweat by the time we get to our cars. Experts tell us extreme heat from climate change is only going to get worse. In this full circle report, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska takes us on a walk through the woods to find out how we can better cool our urban jungles. Cities across the Tampa Bay region are considered urban heat islands because all of that concrete heats up even more. And as our weather gets hotter, so do our cities. There are more than a million trees in the city of Tampa, providing us with shade, cooling, and the beauty of all nature has to offer. Gopher tortoises, butterflies, and towering canopies. You two dudes have been trekking through the woods together for four years. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I'm trying to save the planet one sensor at a time. One, one sensor, sensor at, at a time. time. Yep. One sensor and, at a time, one study at a time. And, and, <laughs> and having those conversations with other areas of the United States to, to figure out what's working, what's not working. Brian Knox is with the city of Tampa, Ross Dickerson, Hillsborough County, two experts on trees and the environment that are teaming up to study the impact that urban forests have on reducing our heat islands. And so in this study, we're focusing on heat islands. And so if we're comparing our heat island study with this cooling study, we can get an overall general picture of where trees are needed in the city of Tampa. Right. And so. That's going to be really important for us. They placed sensors across the area to collect hard data on the benefits of these urban forests to offset global warming. Twelve other cities across the United States are doing the same thing with everyone sharing their data. I'm optimistic because I do feel that the majority of people on the planet Earth understand the benefits of nature. And as we continue to quantify it and show people that it's not just nice to have nature, there's actually real benefits to go with it. I think that it will continue to catch on and more people will be uh, proactive at either preserving land or maybe restoring land that was disturbed by other activities. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.